Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kieran and this is Thrifted Living. I'm so excited to see you here today for another video. This is Sunday morning when I'm filming this video and I'm sitting in my craft room. I like to start out the week by sitting in my craft room to sort of get my mind around what I'm going to be working on for the week, sort of what my goals are. I like to really sit in here and think about what the projects are going to be at school for the week, what projects I might be working on at home um, or for Thrifted Living. I'm really thankful to have such a great crafting space. If you've been following my channel for a while, you've seen the process of me taking this spare bedroom and turning it into a crafting space. I also have a space in here for my classroom stuff whenever we teach from home. I have a whole closet full of classroom stuff as well, like teaching resources. I've been working on setting up the craft room for quite some time. The craft room I always see as like a, it's like a constantly changing space. And I like to update you guys as I'm working on the process of setting up this space. And recently I haven't had a lot of time to do actual crafting. And mainly that's because I've been so busy with school. It's been tough because I want to do both, but there's only so much time in the day. I thought it might be fun if I started a little series on my YouTube channel where I go through my crafting supplies with you guys and I pick items to create a new project with. Now I have a lot of my crafting supplies organized here in the craft room. I'm looking over because I can see all of them in the bookshelf in front of me, but I also have a lot of stuff in the attic as well that I haven't been able to go through and organize in the craft room yet. Hopefully I'll be able to do that just so I can really see everything I have and really think about the projects that I could do. But for today, I thought it would be really fun to go through all of my crafting supplies and share them with you. Not go through every single one, but sort of just give you a glance of what I have that I can work with today and then maybe come up with a project that I can try to tackle today. Then I can look at the items I have and talk with you guys about what kind of projects I think I could do and then maybe try to actually do one of them. In the craft room, I have several thrifted crafting supplies and I also have many Dollar Tree crafting supplies. So I think for just today's video, I'm going to show you my Dollar Tree crafting supplies and hopefully I'll be able to come up with a project to do um, with what I have on hand. So let me turn the camera around and I will share with you what we have to work with. So I'm really happy with how I have these spaces organized but then I have this space right here. It's definitely not organized. I have so many different items that I want to craft with. Up there I have some of these really cute little pumpkins. Obviously it's not fall right now and it's not Halloween so I can't really use those. I have these, let's see, they're like little candy jars. I also have these cloche uh, jars from Dollar Tree. I think these are so cute. I saw these at Dollar Tree over the summer. I was so excited. Um, I just think they're so pretty and I have definitely wanted to use these for a while so Maybe that's something I could do today. Again, I'm just trying to find one project to do. I have some of these like wooden, like these wooden triangle sort of like, I would assume they're for wall, the wall. Does it say what they are? It just says decor. I have some of these like napkin holders that I thought could be used for something. Ooh, I th actually think I have an idea. Oh yes, I do have another part to it. So I've got this paper towel holder and then those napkin organizers. I have an idea. All right, so those are gonna go right here because that might be something I could do. I would need some of these zip ties. Okay, so that is definitely a possibility. I think that maybe I might have found a project. I think maybe I found what I wanted to do already. I'm not going to overcomplicate things. I found a project I can do for today. So let me set the camera up on a tripod and we'll see if what I have planned for this project will work. I apologize that the lighting keeps changing a little bit. I'm trying to figure out filming in this space still. I found some things I think I want to use for a simple DIY today. I only need these items. So the first thing I found is this paper towel holder. You can find these at Dollar Tree. They've had them for quite some time. I found, so I, I grabbed this one. I had one of them sitting on my bookshelf. Then I actually had four of these um, napkin holders and I just grabbed two of them. You can also find these at Dollar Tree. They're the same brand. I think it's called Cooking Concepts is the brand. And I've always really liked these because I feel like they're great quality. And I also have some of these zip ties that I also purchased at Dollar Tree. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I think I'm going to use these items to create a utensil holder in the kitchen. I don't know if it's gonna work. I hope it works. But what I'm thinking about doing is actually taking these napkin holders and attaching them to this and creating a system to sort of just take a utensil like maybe a spoon or something like that and just sit it right through here and then 
you can with I'll attach these with the zip ties and then you can just set the spoons and everything through here so that you're not creating a mess on your countertop you can just take the utensil you're using while you're cooking just set it in this organizer so you're not dirtying your counter you could even use this to organize your cooking utensils as well let me just try and see if it works I don't know we'll try why it doesn't hurt to try right so let me move the camera a little bit so you can see a little better and we'll get started on this Dollar Tree DIY I just took off the tags what I'm thinking is somehow attaching them like this to the top of the paper towel holder and then they'll stay hopefully stay up there maybe I'll have to go to like all the way to the top I don't know I just came up with this project sort of like out of nowhere so I'm hoping it works trying to figure out the best way to do this like I feel like I should probably attach them at the same time like maybe maybe I should attach it like this sort of put it underneath through oh man <laughs> this feels like it's not gonna work and then you just sort of go like that and it might just be something where it kind of sits weird for a second once you once you actually attach it, you can move these a little bit with the zip tie. So you try to do it as tight as you can. I'm going to just try to adjust it a little bit. And you're going to give it more stability when you put the other ones on. So I think the, the main thing is to do the top first. I think this is going to work. I'm pretty excited about this. So now I'm going to attach another zip tie right here, I think in the middle, like the bottom of the napkin holder. So I'll have one at the top and then I'll have one in the middle on the bottom of it. And when I when I created that other project using the zip ties um, and the cooling racks, it's really hard at first to sort of keep it together, the structure of it. But once you get that like basic structure done, it's much easier to work with it. You know what, it feels fairly sturdy with just the two, but I still think I wanna add at least a couple more. What I did, I hope you guys can see, it might be a little hard to see. I took the zip tie and I sort of turned it down where the little lock part of the zip tie is facing down. I think I do need to add something else to it. I could attach it to the outside, but I'm thinking if I try to attach, oh, you know what else I could do? If I try to attach it here, I can attach it to the paper towel holder and also to the two of these, um, the two napkin holders as well at the same time. So I think I'll probably do that. Because I think when, when you're doing a DIY like this, if you can maximize the amount of places that you're making those connections, it's helpful. Because I feel like the fewer zip ties you use, the better. But the zip ties that you do use need to be done in a way that um, maximizes the connection, if that makes sense. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just attach the zip tie loosely, kind of like that where it's not fully attached yet. So that I can make sure when I do attach it, it's even. All right, so now I have both of the zip ties on. And I'm gonna try to make it, now it's starting to get a little wobbly. I think that's pretty good. Securely attached, the only thing is it wobbles a little bit. I wonder if I should add a zip tie, like two more right here in the middle. I could sort of do it across like, so that I'm catching all three again. There you have it. I think I just created a utensil organizer for the kitchen. And all of the zip ties are sort of centered right in the middle, so it's not like there are too many pieces all over the place. What I need to do is take this downstairs to the kitchen and see if it works. I hope it works. I'm not sure that it will, but we'll try. So let's head downstairs to the kitchen and see if this works. I just brought the new utensil organizer downstairs. I really love the stainless steel look of it. I'm going to take some kitchen utensils and try to organize them using this organizer. So you just sort of take the utensil and set it like that. And I think it's actually working pretty well. I think some things like this spatula might not be perfect for it, but maybe if you put it to the side, it works. Kind of. I'm, I was thinking a bit more. I was thinking a bit more for like spoons and things like that. I'm wondering if it might be a little better if I made this a little lower. All right. So I'm going to try to take the scissors and cut these twist ties up at the top, so that the two napkin holders can sort of slide down a little bit, and maybe that'll work a little better. Now let's try it again. That works. Yay. 
I think it works much better now that it's shorter. I just took the piece and made it a little shorter and now I think it looks a lot better and I think it works a lot better too. I think it sort of works better to have the pieces with the bottom of the utensil on the table or on the counter or whatever it is. It just gives a little more stability but I really like how it looks. I'm really happy. I thought it was going to be a Dollar Tree DIY fail but I think it looks really nice now and I'm really excited to have it in the kitchen so yay! It worked. So here's what it looks like up close. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I was feeling a little discouraged for a few minutes because I thought it wasn't going to work and I was going to call it like a Dollar Tree DIY fail, but I really don't think that this was a fail. I think once I decided to make this piece a little shorter and make it adjustable, that it really helped. That way, if you try this project at home, you can adjust the size um, and the height of the napkin holders to make it work better for what utensils you have in your space. I'm really happy with how this turned out. It was almost a Dollar Tree DIY fail, but we were able to make it work and I really love how it's going to look in the kitchen. I think it's going to be great for organizing all of our spatulas and our kitchen utensils. And that's it for this Dollar Tree DIY. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing the process of sort of figuring out what project I was going to do by looking in my crafting supplies and then finding a project and also seeing the process of making it work for the space that we have and making it work for what materials we're working with. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm really excited to use it in our kitchen. I think it'll help keep things a little more organized. In the comments below let me know do you think you'll try this project for yourself are there any other ways that you would change it to make it work better in your space let me know in the comments below please check out my blog at thriftedlivingblog.com don't forget to follow me on instagram at thriftedliving and if you don't have an instagram but would like to stay up to date with what i'm doing you can follow me on facebook at thriftedlivingpage please like subscribe and share thank you so much for watching bye